This week's guest in our Writers of Sci-Fi series is David J. Howe. He is an author and media historian, best known for his work on Doctor Who, horror and cult TV. He is also in charge of Telos Publishing, a small press dedicated to high quality genre books. I asked him initially about how Telos Publishing got started. Um, well, I, I started Telos Publishing. Um, it, it was, it was a, a collision of a number of things. Um, first was that we were doing, or I was involved in the British Fantasy Society, and I was publishing special publications for them. And we had a book came up which was tying into a TV series called Urban Gothic, um, which was a great uh, horror series. And so we were doing a short story collection based on that. Um, and also, at the, about the same time, another friend uh, with a publishing company had started publishing novellas, and I thought that was a great idea, and I wanted to do some Doctor Who novellas. So I approached the BBC with the idea of doing Doctor Who novellas, and they said, yes, we'll licence you to do that, but we won't licence you as an individual, you have to be a company. So I thought, oh, right, OK. So I set up Telos Publishing, basically, to do the novellas. Um, but also, um, this urban gothic book, the contracts with the production company were complicated, and it was easier to do it as a company again rather than as an individual. So um, it kind of sprang into existence, really, from those two things. But I always knew I didn't just want to publish Doctor Who novellas. I wanted to do more stuff. So from the very beginning, we were doing books and other subjects and, and other fiction and all sorts of things. Um, and we're still here today, so, you know, we must be doing something right. What have been uh, the biggest challenges in setting up a publisher? Well, I suppose it's the standard things. It's finding an audience, so n knowing where to go to try and find an audience, advertising, word of mouth, doing a good product, making sure you find the right printers to work with, making sure you find the right people to sort of help lay your books out so that they look great. Um, you know, and if the product is good and it's, you know, correctly marketed, advertised, then hopefully people will buy it. And as I say, we were obviously doing something right because, you know, the books are generally the books we've done have been very successful and um, we're still publishing today. So it's been really good. Doctor Who is one of the big things that you write about. Yes. Uh, has it been an odd experience having grown up with Doctor Who and now presumably your children are growing up with Doctor Who? Has that been a bit of an odd experience? Um, to some extent. I mean, I think my, my, my two kids, they kind of liked Doctor Who, but they weren't that bothered about it, I think. They, they sort of watched it, because Dad watched it, but they weren't that bothered. I mean, I know James, my eldest, um, he likes watching the DVDs and stuff, and he, he was more into it than my youngest. But, um, but yeah, no, it's great. And, um, you know, it's nice to find something that can stay with you for so long. Um, that isn't, you know, something that's destructive, that's actually quite positive and quite, you know, quite good in a way. Um, that's nice. Tell us about one of your, your, your books you're selling here. OK. Um, well, one of the books we're selling here is, is the Target book, um, which is um, a fantastic uh, non-fiction guide to all of the Doctor Who novelizations that were published under the Target imprint over the years. Um, it's a book that I first published about nine years ago, I think, or seven years ago, something like that. Um, but it went out of print. Um, so it's been very, very successful, very popular. And um, ever since it, we, we couldn't sell it because it was out of print, people have wanted to know when are we going to do it again, when are we going to do it again. And it's only this year that we managed to find a printer who could do it for a price that actually worked, that gave us a price that people were prepared to pay for the book. So, um, so I'm very proud of it. So it's a full-colour, complicated, illustrated book. Um, it's, it's a very, very lovely thing. And uh, everyone seems to love it, so uh, we're very pleased about that, but I'm very proud of it. And what's the next big thing coming out? Well, from Telos, um, the next big book is probably going to be Steve Walker's guide to the 50th anniversary, and um, I think it's covering 20, 2012 and 2013. Um, so we do a series of guides to each season of Doctor Who. We're a little bit behind um, because we're too busy, but Steve's literally just putting the finishing touches to his book on, on those years. And it's a great big bumper volume of, of all sorts of stuff, as you can imagine. Um, so that's going to be out in the next couple of months. So that's the next big thing that we're working on that will be, uh, be good fun. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. It's been a great pleasure. Thank you. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you.